My brothers, I fear you bring bad news. No. My friends, I bring good news. It seems as though Microsoft's financial analysts are no longer bracing for a recession, which, you know, for like a litany of real world, very practical reasons, is a very good thing. But for us, Halo fans, it might just be especially good, because it means the hiring freeze is pretty much over. That means that people can finally be hired to work on Halo again, and thus, Halo games can finally be made again. That's right, it seems as though the perpetual hemorrhaging of staff over at 343 is finally coming to an end. And furthermore, there might, maybe, maybe, be something on the horizon. I gotta say, it's a crying shame that things finally start to kick back into gear after Joe Staten and Paul Batone have left V43 and are no longer working on Halo and likely will never work on Halo again. I gotta say, there is like a little bit of me that is gonna be very bitter for a very long time that we had them and then we got nothing major from them, but I digress. Now, the fact that people are actually being hired to work on Halo again, in fact, isn't the only potentially exciting thing here. It's the specific jobs that 343 are hiring for. As of right now, there are only two jobs being hired for, at least publicly, which seems like a really low number, but to be honest with you, I don't think that's really out of the ordinary. I don't expect a multi-year, like, billion-dollar corporation-wide hiring freeze just to end overnight. I think more so it's going to be like a, a gradual easing out of the hiring freeze because if literally overnight they decided to rehire like tens of thousands of people and then all of a sudden the economy turns for the worse again and they have to fire them all, well A that's going to be awful, abysmal for PR and also it's going to mean loads of wasted resources hiring all those people so I don't think that there only being two jobs here at least for now is that big of a thing. I would hazard a guess that over the next like few months and next year or so we're going to start seeing a lot more job postings for Halo. So what are these job postings? Well the first one is for an art outsource manager for Halo Infinite. Uh, it's basically someone who manages all of the art that's made by the internationally outsourced studios that 343 work with on Infinite. And this is like specifically for the live service, um, not particularly bothered about that. But the next one, ooh, let me tell you, the next job posting I am very, very interested in. It's for a lead game designer who needs to have an understanding of modern first or third person shooter games and wants to preserve what makes Halo unique while also having ideas to evolve a Halo experience. This lead game designer will be leading the creative expansion and refinement of Halo's narrative, map design, player experience, systems design, character and sandbox elements with an eye towards delivering deep and immersive games. So cutting through all the fluffy nonsense business jargon in there, one thing is very clear. This lead game designer is not being hired to work on Halo Infinite. Infinite's live service story is unfortunately dead, and unless something radical has changed at the studio in the last like three to four days since this job was posted, then campaign DLC also isn't happening still. And yet part of this role is leading the creative expansion of Halo's narrative. Quite interesting. The role also asks for experience with third person shooters specifically. So call me some kind of conspiracy theorist, right? But it sounds to me like they may be working on some kind of third person narrative game maybe spin-off game of some kind? Something I forgot to mention is that it says that this role requires experience with live service, so don't get your hopes up for a pure narrative game too much. Unless, of course, V43 are planning on turning Halo's main games into a third-person shooter. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> One thing that I know for sure is that whenever whatever this game is rolls around, you're gonna need a good PC to play it. And that's where my own line of custom themed flood PCs made in partnership with Apex Gaming PCs come in handy. We've got three builds of varying power to choose from. The Pure Form, the Grave Mind, or the super powerful Primordial build. Just head to the link in the description and make sure you use code HIDDEN at checkout for up to $250 off your order. Now putting this nicely, 343 have never exactly had the most original ideas when it comes to the spins they put on Halo, so if their first foray into spin-off games made by them, not an outsourced studio, was going to be some kind of third-person narrative game, 
it really wouldn't surprise me. And by the way, don't take that as me knocking it. I mean, anybody who's been watching my videos for the past few months knows how much I would love to see literally exactly what I just described. That's not a knock. It's just if that were to be their first spin-off, it really wouldn't shock me. To put it lightly, I am very, very down for this. That said though, a third person game with narrative elements is like such a generic and vague description of a game though. It could mean something like God of War or The Last of Us, or it could mean a Resident Evil style horror game like Resident Evil 4 or the 2 and 3 remakes, or it could mean like a Gears of War style action game. It really could mean anything. But this listing goes far beyond just narrative. I mean, this lead game designer is tasked with leading pretty much the development of every facet of a Halo game. Map design, player experience, systems design, character and sandbox elements, and I guarantee there's more in it than there was posted on the job listing. I think given that there's no reference to Infinite whatsoever in this posting where there was in the art outsource manager, I mean, this has to be for a new project or game or something, right? You'd assume it would be. But that said, this job posting is still very vague, so don't take any of my speculation as gospel. Not only is it vague, but it's the only job posting right now for 343 and Halo that doesn't refer to Infinite. That said though, I think there's always the chance that they're hiring people internally from other Xbox studios for this project as well, which I would assume wouldn't require like a public facing job listing, they just do it internally within Microsoft. And also, I'd assume that a large chunk of like existing 343 developers who are still at the studio would be working on this game as well. So there only being one job posting might not be the red herring that it seems initially, but still don't take any of this speculation as gospel. It's fine to speculate and, you know, start huffing the hopium just a little bit, but don't get your hopes up for something that may very well just be completely misinterpreted because, I mean, goddamn, it goes without saying, but us Halo fans have had our hopes dashed so many times over the last decade, we should really learn not to get our hopes up about anything, and then if things go badly, then, well, we expected it. If they go well, then, oh, would you look at that? It's a nice surprise. Just don't get your hopes up for anything too much anymore. This in particular. With all that said though, seeing that hiring has restarted and seeing that job posting for something that's not referring to Infinite, I am starting to think that maybe 343 are starting to gear towards a new game, whether that's Halo Infinite 2 or a spin-off, I don't know. I just refuse to believe that like the full force of, three, of 343 is like 300-ish developers plus outsource studios as well are all working on Halo Infinite. Something else has got to be going on over there. I just, I don't know. I, I can't see them all working on Infinite. That just doesn't, the, the puzzle pieces don't fit, okay? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I'm just in denial, but something else has got to be going on over there. I think at the absolute minimum, that lead game designer role at least shows that 343 are planning for something in the future. I think at a bare minimum, that's got to be the case. I will say, if we start seeing more job postings soon that specifically ask for Unreal Engine experience, that to me will confirm that something else is in the works over there, because obviously the worst kept secret for Halo's future is that it's going from Slipface slash Blam over to Unreal, and if we start seeing job postings for Unreal experience, then that'll seal the deal for me. Right, now that there's a small chance that there is something on the horizon for Halo, this is a tall ask, but I feel like I just need to say this, right? 343, please don't fuck about for years with whatever you're making next. Don't do what you did at the start of Infinite's development, or what later became Infinite, and spend years messing about making something that, realistically, you know Halo fans aren't going to want, and realistically, you know general gaming audiences aren't going to want, which ultimately never sees the light of day, and then ends up doing nothing but having a negative effect on the final product that we get, delaying the final product, and causing its launch to be massively, massively worse. Halo's mainstream popularity and image are currently scraping the bottom of the barrel, and if we get another shitty launch like Infinite's, it's only going to make a revival even harder next time. With whatever comes next, the launch needs to be executed well. You have to stick the landing. There are no two ways about it. These rules don't 
quite apply if the game's a spin-off of some sort, but if by some insane stroke of luck, whatever comes next from 343 does end up being Halo Infinite or Halo Infinite 2, then please, for the love of God, just build the game like a traditionally constructed Halo game. I'm talking, at launch, campaign, multiplayer, forge, customs, and theatre. All functioning, all present at launch, with their expected feature sets. That means no launching campaign without co-op. No launching multiplayer without a progression system or gameplay-based unlocks. No launching theatre, completely broken and unusable. And no launching customs, completely broken and unusable. And please, for the love of God, no more launching games 20% complete, missing core features, which causes 99% of the players there at launch to leave, and then finishing said game under the guise of free updates, which causes none of those 99% of players to come back, and eventually dooms the game to a small population forevermore. Please, no. I'm begging you, whatever comes next needs to make a conscious effort to reverse this constant downtrend that Halo has been on for the last decade. The real issue that 343 are going to be facing though with whatever comes next, if it's this project that we talked about in this video or I don't know, whatever, is honestly whether people are going to have any degree of faith in it. At the end of the day, they're going to see the 343 logo on the box and a lot of people aren't gonna trust the game based on that. All I'm saying is, 343, you are gonna have to pull out every single stop to try and shift the sentiment towards modern Halo into something that's even remotely positive, because, man, mainstream audiences don't exactly view Halo in a positive light anymore. So, what do you think about these job postings and the hiring freeze being over? Are you excited for whatever comes next? Are you kind of anxious and nervous? Cautiously optimistic is the term that everyone always uses. To be honest, I think that's what I am right now. Um, of course, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm a Halo fan, I'm going to play it, I'm going to be intrigued in it regardless of what it is. Uh, whether I love it or not will be a whole different kettle of fish that we'll get round to in about 19 years when the game comes out, but we'll see, we'll see. At the very least, I am cautiously... Is optimistic even the word? I'm cautiously intrigued, is what I am. Cautiously intrigued. So, make sure you go and check out the Marathon Law video, the first of many Marathon Law videos that I released the other day. Marathon, if you don't know, is essentially Halo's sister universe. It was one of the heaviest inspirations for Bungie creating Halo, and obviously it's getting rebooted soon, and I'm going to be covering all the lore for the old Marathons and the new Marathon, so make sure you check out that content, show some support on it, I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, let's round the video out there. I want to give a massive thank you to all of my usual patrons for the continued support over there. Thank you all so much, and thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.